Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Druid Stone, the secret of the men here forest. It is by Control Alt Ninja Limited and released on May 15th, 2019. I just got my hands on the code yesterday, installed the game. Here we are, ready to play it and showcase it to the world. I've been following these guys making this game for several months, if not over a year, maybe. At this point, I don't know, it's been a while. Um, yeah, on Twitter and their development process and all that stuff. So, finally got my hands on the game. We are about to hop in and begin. Uh, yeah, we'll stick with the normal tutorial, our normal difficulty with tutorials on. I feel like the normal difficulty in general is roughly, like, the way the developers intend games to be played. Now, I might be better than normal. I might be worse than normal. I don't know, but I always like to kind of go in with this is the vision that the developer has and wants us to experience. So that's always, those are always my thoughts. Anyway, we're beginning. The tutorials are on. Hopefully we do well. Ooh, shiny. Okay, what's this? Uh, Red Priest Acolyte. Oh boy, oh boy, are those truffle caps? They are! Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. It, it doesn't just auto-advance. Some games will have like, you have to click to advance the storyline or dialogue or whatever the case is. And other games will have it where it auto advances. And some games have both. And I never understand why they have both. Because oftentimes, especially when I'm like reading like long lengthy things with a bunch of crazy names and stuff like that. Or just like words like the and do a. Uh, I tend to mess up and screw up and I can't keep up with it. So this is again speaking and doing let's plays. Not necessarily me reading. I can read much quicker than I can speak read. Anyway. Onward. I like this. This is a good choice. Just look at this. It's ridiculous. I'm in truffle cap heaven. They're everywhere. The others are going to love this. After this, nobody's going to be calling me a... Uh... Uh-oh. Whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Back off before I fry the slime off of you. Don't say nobody warned you. Ha! Oh, dang. I'm being mobbed by slugs? That's great. That's fantastic. Well, you asked for it. Uh, help! 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 There he is. Hey, you. What were you thinking running off like that? Oh, and, and we're in combat already. Sweet! Complete the mission without taking any damage. Well, I mean, I'd like to do that, but it's probably not going to happen if I, if I had to guess here. All right, let's take a look here. Uh, hold down the middle mouse button to move the camera. Eh. Zoom with the mouse wheel. Uh, select a hero by clicking on the hero on the map or the portrait tab cycle through heroes. Action and movement points. The orange and blue markers above the heroes are their action and movement points. Action points, orange. Many actions, such as attacking, require an action point. Okay. Movement points, blue. Movement consumes one movement point per square. You can take actions between moves. Oh, that's good. I, I, I always kind of... That's always been one of those things I don't particularly like in a lot of games that have, uh, we'll say, an action point system. Uh, and that is... Let's see how, how to phrase it. Um, basically, you can move however you want, and then usually you'll have to like, confirm a lock in your move. But after you do that, you can take your action. If you took your action at the start with very rare exceptions or occasions, and usually it's like a talent or an ability that allows you to do this, that pretty much ends your turn. So, like, say I just shot with the scout here. Boom. I wouldn't be able to move with her. In this game, it looks like we're able to move and then attack and then move again. So sometimes you'll, you know, you'll get yourself into, like, a bad situation. Well, it looks like we won't be getting into too bad of a situation. Uh, opportunity attack. Oh, there's a lot of info over here on the right. I like that. All right, so I'm going to move here. I'm going to hit him with some knowledge. It's called my sword. And it's going to be like, her splashity, and he did. I'm going to take his gold. I'm not a real big fan of the middle mouse button movement thing, but... Eh, it is what it is. Alright. I think that's it. Can I... Oh. Oh, he's an ally. Oh, okay. Um... Well, I mean, I guess I'll go here and shoot at him? I can only do two damage with her. Of course I can. Why, why wouldn't I only be able to do two? Uh, actions during your turn. You don't have to use all of your heroes' actions and moves at once. Actions and moves can be alternated between heroes. When you are finished with all of your moves and actions, click the end turn button. Or press E. 
Alright, I'm outside of the range. I can't control him, so he's an ally, so... I guess we'll get our bonus objective if we ourselves don't get hit. That's... That's an assumption. It's, there's no... A basis for this to actually happen. Alright, so let's hope it works out. I'm gonna move here, I think. Oh, he's gonna... He's gonna still attack and do stuff. Oh, that's cool. Alright, the buggos couldn't reach us. Oh, there's so many of them, though. Uh, guys, this is not looking good. Not at all. Alright, well, these dudes moved up into a interesting position. What is this thing? Uh, you can't- you don't get tooltips by hovering. If I click it, is it gonna use it? No. A whirlwind attack, uh, all adjacent creatures with a melee weapon. So if I move here... I can't do it that way. I have to move here, then here? Oh, then I'd have to move again. Oh, I made mistakes. I can undo my move. Okay, hold on. There we are. Okay. I like that I can undo my move. That's nice. Alright. Whirlwind attack! Good job, Aragorn. Well done, friend. Alright, cool. So what are these? Heart. Collect to recover one health. Oh, cool. Alright, so... I can't actually hit anyone. I can now. I'm going to shoot you. I'm within range of an attack from you, but only you. So I'm going to back up. And I think I'm outside the range now. I don't know how badly he's going to get whooped. I assume not too badly? Maybe a little bit badly? Okay, he got hit by something there. Uh, let's see, the numbers over the ability icons tell you how many times each ability may be used in a mission. If no number is displayed, it has unlimited uses. Okay, click on the ability icons. To, okay, so that's the, the pop-up for them. Alright, that makes sense. Alright, I'm gonna try this. What is this? Move up to two squares and attack a target. The target is pushed back. Uh, one square, and you have to move at least one square. Alright, well that seems easy enough. Got it. And then you have a heal ability? What does this do? Restore five health to a target within five squares. Alright, I'll, I'll go, I'll heal our, our ally boy. I, I didn't take any damage though, so how did I fail that? Is that even a thing that we can do? Like, I don't control him. What's this do? Rewind time back to the beginning of the turn. Interesting. Alright, well, I'm gonna end the turn. I feel like... I feel like I got cheated here. Because I didn't take any damage. He took damage. I had no control over him. He stood in one spot and got himself owned. I mean, I don't know, maybe I could have done something to change the out- I, I don't- I don't know. Whatever, we failed a, a bonus objective, I guess, it's fine. All of this trouble over a couple of mushrooms? The forest didn't used to be like this. Okay, uh, alright, yes, you don't have to say anything. Perhaps I made a slight error in judgment. But, I, I mean, look- Look at these truffle caps, though. I mean, like, they're 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 everywhere. This is truffle, what is it, truffle cap heaven. Mushrooms, are you serious? Listen, little man, this forest will kill you if you let it. Well, let's not get too dramatic here. We're all safe and no harm was done. N no, no, I'll be the bigger man. I apologize, I made a mistake. Thanks for the rescue. Um, sorry, what is your name anyway? I, I mean, do, do you have one? Because, well, we just cut you out of a cocoon, and I don't know how it works with you cocoon people. He's not cocoon people. He's the warden. Not, not really helping, but, um, okay. Protector of the forest? Created by the forest? Druid stuff, that, yeah, that's not my field. Anyway, do you have a name, or... I told you, he's the warden. Right, okay, but is that what we... Oh, we can change his name. Okay. 
He's Leon Hard. We're just going to call him Leo because it's better. Leo, my name is Leo. See? Leo. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I should have asked. So you're the warden. Well, what's a warden actually do? I, uh... Listen, we can talk about this all later. Right now, we have to concentrate on those cysts. No problem. We find them, we destroy them, we take the warden back to the circle. What are these cysts exactly? The druids call them the cancer. It's spreading through the forest, corrupting plants and animals. We don't know what's causing it yet, but the brightest minds of the druids are on it. My father says whatever's causing the cancer, we have to wipe the cysts out quickly before it's too late. He's the Archdruid, so, I mean, I guess he'd know. I'm a little fuzzy on a lot of things, but that sounds like something that we should tackle. Yeah, the Archdruid's not the type to react. Lead the way, big guy. Let's do this thing. Okay. I'm gonna assume that's a cyst. Bloody roots. Look at the plants. Yeah, that seems bad. Oh, there's a chest. That's disgusting. Is that the cancer? Are, are we too late? We might still have time to stop it if we don't hesitate. Then let's not hesitate. Oh, we're just gonna... Oh, okay. Beware! The area is infested with the cancer. You have seven rounds to destroy the cysts until the cancer fully manifests. And completing the mission becomes more difficult. Each destroyed cyst delays the cancer by one round. The mission ends immediately when the last cyst has been destroyed. May the forest protect you. May the forest protect us all. Ooh, saving the game. The game is automatically saved at the start of each mission. You can save and exit the game at any time from the pause menu. To access the pause menu, click on the gear icon. Yeah, I got it. I am all over. Oh, I have all three people now. I control the Tricor of Power. I, I got nothing. All right. So there's a bug there and a bug here. There's a cyst over here. Hmm. Alright, I feel like if I move here, I'm outside of the range. Yes, okay. I should shoot you. I should move our other dude up over here. Still outside of your range. Okay, and I should hit you. Is this a spell? What does this do? Deal three damage. Oh, I don't have line of sight of that one. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, I guess I'm hitting the cyst with it then. Cyst slap. Let me assist you. <laughs> what does this do? Your next spell uses the focused version of the spell. Free action. What is a focused version of a spell? Attack up to three separate targets. Oh. What's this? Oh, a three by three square. That's the focus. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm done with him. I'm going to move here and attack. And I think that's fine. I think that is okay with our turn. We'll see. Give me a minute here. Yep, that seems fine. Move there. Okay. And the turn. Let's see what happens next. The bugs seem upset. Oh, oh, there's other bugs that are also very upset. Wait, do you feel that? Prepare yourselves. The enemy's coming. Excuse me? What's that? What? That we already see oh. Uh as a warden of the forest, Leo can sense approaching enemies. Keep an eye out for the glowing red circles in the environment. They indicate where an enemy is about to appear. Alright, so what I'm going to do is this. I don't know what that book is, but I'm going to find out here in a minute. I am also going to kill most of you. Enjoy my fire. <laughs> well, that actually worked out really well. Alright, I'm going to go over here and what's this do? Choose an ability to recharge. Oh! Fire one use per gem. We have three. Okay. I'm gonna get my focus back. 
Okay, uh, loot drops. Defeated enemies sometimes drop items such as action points, hearts, or gold. Well, it's an action point. Nice! Uh, let's see. Collecting a heart, red gem recovers one health. Be sure to snatch up the points before the enemies do. Makes sense. Okay. So I'm going to come down here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to smack this once more. Then I'm going to pick up the action point. I'm going to come over here and stand on this. I'm going to shoot the wasp. Pick up that. We'll get the gold later. Uh, I guess the extra action point really didn't help me much. Uh, I mean, I could do that. It just doesn't seem like it's all that useful. Nor does that right now. So the extra action point was kind of wasted, I guess. Maybe I should have held it until the next turn. I don't know. And can you move anymore? Nope, everybody's movement is spent. You can see on the side here. Movement, movement, and then this is the one action point. Alright, so not not great. I'm gonna, yeah, have to let it go, I suppose. Oh, what is that horrible monstrosity? Hover the mouse over an enemy to show its movement range. Hold the Alt key to highlight interactive objects and show their health. Oh, cool. I really wish WASD was a thing that worked on this. Alright, I'm going to try to get over here, and... Oh, I can totally hit you. Boom. Uh, I guess I'll hit you too. I'll only do one damage to him. That doesn't feel right. Wait, is he armored? He d is armored. Hmm... So he'll survive that. Oh, I mean, I don't really have anything else I can do. So it is what it is. What does this do? Hmm. Swap places with another character. She's gonna probably be the one that gets hit. I don't know. We still have a heal with her and other random stuff. And restore a knocked out hero with that one. Revive an adjacent knocked out hero. A hero recovers one health. Alternately, heal one to an adjacent target or yourself. Use the one action point. Alright, alright. Oh, nope. Oh, this is gonna om nom up on him. Alright. In order to complete the mission, you need to complete all of its main objectives. Any failed main objective ends the mission immediately. Complete bonus objectives to earn extra rewards at the mission end. Or the end of the mission, sorry. Um. Okay, I guess I'm going to take him down. Alright, I think I'm going to come over here. We all seem to have this. So I'm going to try a heal on... Oh, wait, the poison ended? Oh no, I didn't read what the poison did. Aw, oh, dang it. I just figured I would heal him because he's going to be having issues. Can't seem to open. Oh, you have to use an action point to open the chest. Okay. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, let's go hit this thing. Alright, we'll end the turn. Oh, there's a horrible thing ready to be birthed. Let's get away from it if we can. We found a crystal. Uh, consumable items found from chests can be used during the current mission. Only be used during the current mission. Use them or lose them. What does it do? One, or recharge one use of an ability. Free action. Uh, I don't want to do that now. Pretty sure our boy can finish off the cyst. The last cyst must be down in that crypt. What? Oh! Oh, I can actually go down here. Oh. I mean, it makes sense, and honestly, it probably should have been obvious, but I actually didn't expect that to be that way. It's fine. Whatever that weird gelatinous jellyfish thing is, I, I don't want to play with it right now, so we're gonna we're gonna try to avoid it. Oh, good. There's horrible things in here. He did. Ooh, I lit him on fire too. That's interesting. Hmm. 
Move up your free movement speed. Move up to your free... What? Move up to your movement speed. Free action, sorry. I'm like reading two lines at once trying to... It's, it's fine. Ooh, the Skeletal Archer is pretty strong. I think I can take him down though, maybe. Uh, do we have any chance of... No. Alright, what about hitting the jellyfish thing? Any chance of hitting that thing? Nope. Curse you and your bad movement. Alright, we're using this. Oh, select an ability to recharge. Sorry, what is it? Oh, okay, to recharge one. I gotcha. I gotcha. I, okay, well that sucks. Um, oh, wait a minute. Does this use... No, uh, that's a free action. This is a free action too. Swap places with another creature within five squares once per turn. Okay. I'm going to do that. I'm going to swap with the scout. So even with my lame movement. All right, there we go. There we go. Using some skills, making things work. Getting stuff handled. Maybe. I'm not entirely certain. There's some nasty rats in there. There's assists. There's two doors. There's one of those spellbook things that we can refresh. There's a pressure plate, which will, of course, open the door. Okay, I got it. I'm all over it. I know what's going on. Uh-oh. Ouch. Please don't do that. That didn't that did not feel good. Uh-huh. Did you like that? Was it enjoyable to you? I feel like it wasn't. Alright, I'm gonna step up. Well I was gonna do something different, but now I'm gonna do this. Focus. And hit him with some fireballs. Good douche. Alright, cool. Down he goes. Uh, let's get our focus back. I kind of like our focus ability. I think that's cool. Uh, she already attacked. We're going to go in here. And we'll see how this all works out. All right, we'll end the turn again. We got three rounds. Uh, you have unused action points. Oh, wait. Do I? I do. It's his unused action point. Hmm. If I step off of that, it's going to close. You know what? I think that's fine. I'm going to move here. I'm going to close. I'm going to actually stand on this with her. I'm going to step in here. I'm going to leap, I'm going to hit the Plague Rat. And we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. End turn, I guess. Alright. We got diseased. So one Plague Rat's coming over here to eat us. Alright, I'm going to step in here. I'm going to focus my spell once more. All right, we're gonna try to hit you with some fire. And we should kill the first plague rat. Did some damage there. I'm gonna go here. Then I suppose I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna open the chest, because that's one of our bonus things. Complete the mission without knockouts, okay. We found some men here shards. What does that do? Lose all harmful conditions from yourself or an adjacent creature, okay? Oh, I suppose I'll I'll use them. Yeah, I've been purified. I am no longer diseased. And do this. Oh, I can only cast from within here. So move there to get that. And that weird jellyfish monster thing should be coming back down at any moment. Okay, we should be able to finish this up in the next turn, and we stop time before the cancer spreads, I guess. Oh, the jellyfish couldn't do it. We must hurry, the cancer is almost here. Okay. I'm gonna hit that plague rat with some knowledge. The knowledge is that he gonna die. Yeah, I'm gonna take down a gelatinous boy 
Well, I tried. Couldn't quite do it. But we're going to spin it to win it. Whirlwind. Here it goes. Cyst down. Rat down. Oh, cyst not down. Oh. Really? Really? I feel like that's not an accurate representation of what just went down. Well, she's going to have a bad time. Alright, whatever. We're going to get hit with some more lightning. It's probably fine. Oh, bloody roots. We are doomed. I feel like we should have done enough damage. Uh-oh. Oh, the cancer has come. Oh, this looks not good. The druid stone shard. What of you has it? Give it to me or I'll take it from your corpse. That bow is far too powerful for us. Let's concentrate on destroying the cysts. Yeah, so, uh... You see... That's, that's wonderful. And stuff, but, uh... I don't think it's gonna really help us much. Alright, let's hit you with some, um... Some fireballs. Or, well, I guess just a random magic thing. There it is. Victory is ours. I feel like I did enough damage. I should have been able to break that thing earlier, but maybe it's scripted for us to not be able to do that? I don't know. I feel like we did a lot less damage than we should have against that thing. Yeah! You go, guys. Alright, we got open all chests. We got one gem. I don't know what that means, but we have it. Uh, we didn't get knocked out, so we got 50 gold. We got 50 experience, and I guess we'll figure out what all these things do as we go along. Oh! Also, our little dude here leveled up. Good for him. There's something in the air. The soil feels wrong. This isn't random. I really don't think the forest is supposed to be like this. Well, so you say. The forest creatures, they aren't supposed to be so aggressive, are they? What? Do all the animals usually attack everything all of the time? Do purple boils just grow everywhere? You really are out of it, aren't you, big guy? Hush, he's still catching up. It's not his fault. Right, right. He's a cocoon guy. All of this is being caused by the cancer. My father is worried. He says it isn't natural. It almost feels like a tool for controlling the forest. What was it that Knight said? They were after something. I, I think they were after this. A pendant? It was my mother's. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that an explanation? Maybe, but I should talk to my father about it first. Oh, God, what is that? It's adorable! Look at those big eyes! It's fine. Look, a Shido! Quape, quape. Incoming message. Quape, express delivery. Ooh, a letter. I love getting letters. Over here, buddy. I got it. Queep, not so fast. Register letter. Sign here. Ah, come on. Regulations. Sign here. All right. Uh, Oiko. Sure. Thank you. Excuse me. Big rush. So many deliveries. Bye, Queep. Okay, that was weird. It's from Barton. He, let me see what was so urgent. Oh, God. You're not going to like this. W what is it? Uh, circles under attack. Uh, the druids are fighting for their lives. Bloody roots. My father. Th they need our help right now. Okay. Well, looks like we're about out of time for the episode, but I think we're going to be stuck in some dialogue stuff here for a little bit. So whenever this is done, before we go on to the next mission, that's where we'll break off this first episode. Oiko says, and wouldn't you know it, that's when the troll sneezed and sprayed his lunch all over. <laughs> Uh, get get it? Uh, oh, uh, we're here. Deep roots of the earth. Oh, she said a swear. The circle. That they're all dead. Not dead, but hurt bad. Father, where's my father? Why do they have all these weird skull things on their head? That's not a good thing. It's unthinkable, says Varton U staff. By ancient packs and traditions, the sanctuary is off limits. Vartan, what happened? I don't know. I don't know. It happened so quickly. 
The brutality of it. So many of us dead or dying. The struggle is broken. Oh, this is... This is... I, I can't. Who did this? The warden. Thank the forest they found you. Yeah, uh, he may not be what you were hoping. My boy's a little confused. It will pass. Surely it will pass. With you here, there's hope. To answer your question, warden, it was the red priests and the oak shields, or what they have turned into. And worse, the seedless one. She was here, too. The sorceress? Who? She's a kind of mythical figure. Mysterious, powerful, maybe insane. Some stories say she appears and disappears like a ghost. I honestly didn't think she was real. Oh, she's real. She was here, and she wanted the Archdruid and his daughter. But you were on your mission, and he was at the Zorath Cave, working on his research. Not that we would ever tell her that we would never betray your father. Of course not, I know. But Alderleaf, he defied her. And the sorceress tore the information from his mind, even as she tore the life from his body. And then the killing began. He can't imagine it. It's so much blood. Oh, Varden, sorry we weren't here. And Roland? He... Roland, wasn't he... wasn't here, right? No. Of course not. You know he's no longer one of us. Forget Roland. You... what you had... Alright, fine. I, I get it, Varden. Sorry I showed concern for somebody we both cared about. That wasn't... Look, let's not rehash that argument. There's more. And worse. We just got word that the Zorath cave was overrun. She has your father. I'm so sorry. No! No, this will not stand. The sorceress won't get away with this. Hold on, look around you. She just did all of this. You think we can what? We can try to set things right. We can face her. Yes, thank you. No, 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 you can't. No, she wants you, too. Well, she can't have me. Uh, Varden, what was the last thing? Or, Varden, the last thing I will do is hide. This is no time to let your emotions decide. Look, I'm going to stop you right there, Varden. Yes, he's my father, and I want him back, obviously. But that's not what this is about. She took him. She took the Arch Druid. Think about it. Really ponder. Can you think of a single reason for doing so that doesn't make you want to soil your robe? And not to rub it in, but Druids can't rescue him. You're scholars and mystics, not adventurers, and certainly not fighters. That's precisely why you sent me to get the Warden, because I can handle myself, and, well, you can't. I... Yes, I see what you mean. I apologize. Okay, uh, skipping right past the awkwardness here, how can we find the Archdruid? We will send word to our agents, but first we must see to the survivors. Excuse me a moment. Okay. Okay. So, what's our next step? Ah, the timing of all this. The force sending you here now? No way that's a coincidence, right? He's the warden. He's supposed to fix this, right? I don't know anything about that. Am I... Am I supposed to? Because I don't. You heard Vartan. Or you heard what Vartan said. Uh, it'll come to you. He knows this, his, this stuff. My father's all the family I have. My mother died when she gave birth to me. But more than that, he's the Archdruid. We'll need him to fix things. I'm sure of it. Leo, I don't have the right to ask you for this, but... Yes, of course I'll help you. You're in trouble, and what happened here can't be right. So I promise you, together we will find your father. Thank you, this means the world to me. You have no idea. Alright, druids, what are you doing? This is gone. He's, uh, well, he's my new right hand. <laughs> A bit of a field promotion, I'm afraid. His previous right hand was cut off. <laughs> Yikes. Yes, uh, well, Gon, we'll be relaying whatever we can discover to you. Lady, it is a genuine pleasure to make your acquaintance. Oh, uh, please just call me Ava. We're gonna we're gonna change it slightly. We're gonna keep the the basic principle there, but we're gonna go with Ava. Truly an honor, Ava. Well, good luck on your travels, Ava. There's hope with the Warden by your side. And me. Yes, may the forest protect you. 
And so closes the intro to our amazing adventure. Queep, you've got mail. Do I? Do I have got mail? Do I have got mail? That's weird. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be where we break off the first episode. I think the game is fantastic. I had a lot of fun playing it. Hopefully I will improve as we go. We'll get to see what all this money and all the other random things are all about. And yeah, hopefully success awaits us. Either way, that's it for now. Uh, if you guys want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, or any of that wonderful fun stuff, it'll all be down below in the description of the video as it always is and various links and things of that nature. Stick around the channel for more. Subscribe. You know you know the score, guys and gals. Until the very next episode, I'm Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.